We are back with the return of the Premier League this weekend. Here are my predictions for each and every game in round eight. Make sure you play along in the comments and get your forecasts in, preferably for every game. I'd love to tell you how I did at the weekend, but my predictions were sadly all in vain after the news from the Royal Family and this last postponed round. So let's get back on it. Brentford versus Arsenal. Bit of a marker this one for Brentford as we cast our minds back to their first ever Premier League game. That morale-boosting victory at home to Arsenal. Maybe they caught the Gunners cold back then. Things look very different now with Arsenal up at the top of the table. Brentford and no slouches themselves in eighth and are creating plenty enough chances to at least score against Arsenal. If home advantage can add a little more like it did last time, then I think this might be close. Draw! Wolves versus Manchester City. I'm always looking for a way that someone might actually beat Manchester City. This weekend, we are talking defence. And Wolves have the best in the division, despite having actually only won one game. The obvious counter to a good defence is the fact that Manchester City have Haaland and De Bruyne, who look like scoring against virtually anyone at the moment. We're filming before the Champions League, but that doesn't really change the fact that I'm going to back Man City yet again. Away! Spurs versus Leicester. Look, in all honesty, it was probably a good time for Leicester to have a bit of a break. All a little bit depressing there. Five defeats in a row. Pressure growing on the manager at a club that was always rightly heralded as an example to anyone wanting to challenge the established elite. Speaking of the established elite, poor old Leicester have got to go away to Spurs, who despite their Champions League issues and defeat in midweek, will surely have enough here up top, particularly with goal threat to outfox the Foxes. Home! Brighton versus Crystal Palace. This most unique of English football rivalries, well... Sadly, we're not going to get the latest chapter of it due to a rail strike postponed. Manchester United versus Leeds. And another one falls by the wayside here, which will annoy my Leeds friends as I know they look out for this one the day the fixture is released. But this one, a victim of the state funeral. Postponed. Please do get involved and hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying the show. It really does help more than you could imagine. You can also join us over on Patreon for some extra content. The link is down there somewhere in the description. Chelsea versus Liverpool. Right, last one. Honestly, I promised, or at least I hope I'm promising. But we're not going to be seeing Chelsea versus Liverpool either this weekend. Postponed. Forest versus Fulham. It's a rocky defence against a red-hot striker in a dearly departed derby. You love to see it. Hopefully, for Forrest's sake, they've had some time on the training ground and Stevie Cooper is closer to knowing which combination of his many new signers will be the one he thinks is right for this game and in the long term to keep Forrest up. Whoever they are, they need to defend better than they have been because Fulham have impressed people playing on the front foot. And I think they've certainly proved a few people wrong. None more than Mr. Mitrovic up top. Forest have got to stop him. I think they're going to put in an improved showing under the lights with that home atmosphere at the city ground, but not enough for me to get the win. Down the middle here, draw! Newcastle versus Bournemouth. It looks like we may be going into the international break with Bournemouth still not having fixed themselves up with a permanent boss. We'll see. Gary O'Neill has done the last two and taken four points, including a precious comeback victory at Nottingham Forest. If this game was at the vitality of Newcastle having to make that long trek, I would fancy the cherries a bit more. But I think with just that one defeat so far for the Geordies, I'm going to have to back them here. Home! Aston Villa versus Southampton. I will be there, fingers crossed, for a dearly departed watch along on Friday night. Check that out after the game. Encouraging signs, though, from more pragmatic looking Villa last time. They sacrificed a bit of, quote, technical quality, said Stevie Gerrard, for some legs and intensity. And they did take a point off the imperious Manchester City. I think we might see something similar tactically against a spotty looking Southampton. Who've already lost twice on the road this season. Will it work? 
I think it might. Home! Everton versus West Ham. A proper Frank Lampard derby this one. But maybe I shouldn't be talking about Frank and I should be talking about Jordan Pickford because at the moment you feel he needs to have a good game for Everton to have a chance. And he has been, to be fair. I'm not as high on West Ham as I have been in the couple of seasons. But Everton fans will know better than most about David Moyes' ability to get a team going year after year after year. With that being said, barring a Pickford picket line, do you know, I think I'm on the hammers here. Away! There you go. Only seven predictions this week with the postponement. So all the more reason for you to get involved in the comment. Look, far less work than normal. Get your forecasts in. Never mind less work. It's been far more work for me. And it's a double upload today. Thanks to Huddersfield for sacking their manager, Danny Schofield, this morning. You can see what I thought about that here. And you can also click here to see this week's Dearly Departed deep dive on Stevie Gerrard over at Aston Villa.